the hill there to see the car bro. Get the crowd ready. Inside. Oh, yeah. no. when, she, when she's ready with the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead and sing it. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. <laughs> Again, Jack and Chelsea would like to pause for a moment to remember those who can't be present here today and those who are no longer with us, especially the brother of the bride, Charlton Theodore. We gather as a community of family and friends and feel ripples of excitement and tremors of joy as we celebrate the marriage of Jack and Chelsea. The world is filled with harmony, soaring birds, towering trees, brisk wind, and animals of all kinds, each unique, each in relationship and harmony with the others. Jack and Chelsea have come to adhere to affirm their love for each other and to enter this beautiful tapestry of life. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is an opportunity for love to be learned. Marriage is a journey in which we as the travelers are faced with many choices and are responsible for these choices. Marriage is a call to servitude. Marriage is a call to friendship. Marriage is a call to suffering, although not like your thinking. Marriage is not an event, but a way of life. Marriage involves intimacy in all areas for it to be fulfilled. Today, Jack and Chelsea, you come together bringing all of you to this marriage, all of the wonderful parts, and all of your hurts and pains. You especially bring today all of your hopes and dreams for this marriage. You both have tremendous faith in each other as you trust your future in the other's care. You have excellent reason to believe you belong together, but you have no guarantees. Instead, you stand together about to accept on faith the challenge of creating the future together. You promise to be faithful to one another, in big things as well as small. Your constant faith in each other will give form and substance to the beautiful hopes that you have for your future. Unless you're an unusual couple, at times, marriage, your marriage won't look anything like the vision you celebrate today. <laughs> You may not feel much evidence of the love you feel so keenly right now. At such a time, remember this moment. Remember the hopes and dreams that have been entrusted to your care. Marriage begins with a leap of faith that says, I will, before an unknown and unknowable future. Marriage is about being full of faith or faithfulness to one another. Faithfulness respects each other's ideas and feelings keeps each other's secrets, guards each other's dignity, and honors each other in public and in private. Faithfulness is built upon 10,000 minute acts of trust and trustworthiness. In such faith, you will find the fulfillment of all the hopes and dreams you have today. So with that being said, we re you guys ready for some big questions? Sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll start with an easy one. Tell you how to answer this. Jack and Chelsea, 
Have you come here freely and without reservation to join together lawfully in marriage? If so, please say I have. Jack, we flipped the coin. You get to go first. I have. Before family and friends, I ask you to affirm your vows to each other as you enter into this marriage and begin to share all the joys of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. And Jackson, she won the coin, coin, coin toss. We'll start with you. I'll do just a couple words at a time. You repeat after me. And uh, focus on her as best you can, and I'll teach you the words. Are you ready? Okay, we'll start. <laughs> I, Jack. I, Jack. Take you, Chelsea. Take you, Chelsea. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. Or for worse. Or for worse. For richer. For poorer. Or poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. I Chelsea, I, Chelsea, take you Jack, take you Jack to be my wedded husband, my to, have and to, hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, this day forward for, better, for better or for worse, for, 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 richer, for richer or poorer, for poorer in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, so long as we both shall live. We are ready for some rings, young man. <laughs> Beautifully done. We'll turn out the leaves of the grass. <laughs> I, I, in the spirit of a wonderful, beautiful ceremony like this, I should tell you a quick story. I've been married 34 years. 34 years ago on that wedding day during the ceremony, I dropped the rings. <laughs> to this day, you would think a third of a century could go by and somebody would forget. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, these rings are an outward and visible sign of an invisible truth which binds two hearts in one. As such, they are symbols of the enduring and unending quality of love which is now expressed between Jack and Chelsea. So, Jack, you will start with the Slide on nice and gently. You can either adjust the order now or whatever works. And? This ring, this ring is a sign, is a sign of, my love of my love and faithfulness. And faithfulness. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! All right. Did you put the ring on? Um, that be Jack, Jack, this ring this is a sign of my love <laughs> and faithfulness. This is the good part of this is the one. They have uh, chosen, actually, my favorite reading for a wedding, and uh, I hope to do it justice. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will give comfort like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands who will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness, just for your They have selected Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, you may be familiar with it. It's beautiful one, very important. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious 
or boastful, or arrogant, or rude. It does not um, insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never. We have one uh, prayer. God in heaven, you ordained marriage for your children, and you gave us love. We present to you Jack and Chelsea, who have come this day to be married. May the covenant of love they made be blessed with your true devotion and spiritual commitment. We thank you for giving them the strength and courage to keep their back. Thank you for helping them to create their family, for their family, a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation on which they can build their lives. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give moral strength. When there is misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness. When suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them the strength of faith and an abiding love. Yay, as he joined us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and apparently just voted no to going back in. Yeah. Um, she's very white. <laughs> she's very white. <laughs> is, is he okay being out here? Yeah, she's good. I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she might be quiet. <laughs> yeah. I, and I'm not worried about that either. Well, we are just about at the finish line. Should we uh, get you going? All right, we got a little more reading and we're, we're going to declare you guys hitched. Jack and Chelsea, in the future, happy occasions will come as surely as the morning. Difficult times will come as surely as the night. To say the words love and compassion is easy, but to accept that love and compassion are built upon patience and perseverance is not always easy. Jack and Chelsea, inasmuch as you've declared your willingness to enter in the state of marriage with each other, and have declared the same in the company of these witnesses, by the virtue of authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife, Jack. It's your bride. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I'd like to present Jack and Chelsea as a married couple. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Five sixteen. And? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's perfect out here. Good. And we are adjourned. Thank you all. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.